So let us understand the Prithvi class of missiles. Now Prithvi has many variants. Starting with Prithvi 1, it is a liquid fuel surface to surface ballistic missile which has a maximum range of around 150 kilometers. While Prithvi 2, which is also a single stage liquid fuel missile, has an extended range of 250 kilometers. And Prithvi 3 is a two stage surface to surface missile, although the first stage is solid fueled, but the second stage is liquid fueled. The missile can carry around 1000 kilograms of warhead to a distance of 350 kilometers and a 500 kilogram of warhead to a distance of 600 kilometers. Now, if we look at the Prale missile, it uses a new generation of composite propellant and the solid fuel is highly efficient, which can provide more energy compared to the fuel which has been used in Prithvi and Agni series missiles. The objective behind this is to help miniature future missiles without compromising on the operational range. Provided Pralai missile can carry around 350 kg to 700 kg of high explosive performed fragmentation warhead, penetration cum blast and runway Daniel penetration submunition at a range of 150 km to 500 km which can easily target radar and communication installations, command and control centers and advanced airfields. Looking at the current status, the only means for the Indian Army to strike targets at a distance of close to 500 km was the Brahmo supersonic cruise missile which though deadly accurate can carry a payload of only about 200 kg or so. As such, the Indian Army in recent times felt the need for a short-range ballistic missile with a range of around 500 km that can also carry a seizable payload. With regards to this, Pralai missile was a sure answer to this. The missile is comparable to China's Dongfeng-12, also known as M20 and the Russian 9K720 Skander missile. Pralay is a solid fuel missile that follows a quasi-ballistic trajectory and can perform mid-air maneuvers using maneuverable re-entry vehicle to defeat anti-ballistic missile interceptor.